I'm out here with my uh, German Shepherd Lobo. He uh, got some big storms again yesterday. I've got some branches down i got to clean up. Thought I'd shoot a quick buck bang video with him. All right there is a couple of chicken drummies. Lobo. Too busy worrying about the squirrels that he always sees in that tree there. He is obsessed with trying to catch squirrels. As I've mentioned in other videos, I feed my dogs a uh, combination raw and uh, dry kibble diet. The dry kibble I use is a grain-free salmon and pea formula. And uh, I augment that with uh, raw meaty bones and uh, raw fruits and vegetables and berries. I'm not a dog nutritionist, so I'm not uh, advocating anybody else feed their dogs this way. This is just what works for me. I've done this for over a decade. I was an animal warden for 13 years, did a lot of animal rescue work, and have done a lot of research on the topic. And Again, this is what I find works for me. It's a beautiful breezy day out right now. I start feeding my pups raw as soon as I get them. Again, you always want to introduce it slow. There are a couple books by a guy named Dr. Ian Billinghurst. One called Give Your Dog a Bone, the other one called Grow Your Pups with Bones. I highly recommend anybody wanting to learn more on the topic. There's also many YouTube channels and uh, websites that are uh, totally uh, set up towards uh, feeding your dog a raw diet. and They can tell you a lot more about it than I can. Again, you don't ever want to feed your dog cooked bones. Cooking the bone changes the structure of the bone and makes it brittle. And then uh, your dog has trouble digesting them and they can perforate the bowel and the stomach and cause obstructions. Dogs are able to digest uh, raw bones. Again, this is what they eat in the wild, wild canines around the world. It's like, get out of my face with that camera. I just want to eat. I know I think to be a responsible pet owner, you should uh, try to feed your dog uh, as 
or cat as close to uh, the diet nature intended it to eat as, as possible. That's part of the reason why uh, you have so many unhealthy people running around these days too because uh, they're, not, they're not eating a diet that nature intended them to eat. We weren't meant to be slamming all this processed food into us day after day. Hope you enjoyed that. That right there is a massive 400 pound uh, broken Shiva Lingam stone a friend of mine gave me, which I like a lot. It's kind of a cool uh, blue color with swirls of green and brown mixed in with it. You can see inside the stone what it looks like. I've uh, acquired a pretty big collection of Shiva Lingam stones another one there it's about 250 pounds it's a pretty large stone we got a number of other ones in my house uh, if you're ever looking for somebody uh, who sells uh, really nice ones I have a friend who imports them from uh, India her name is Mori and uh, she's got a st uh, store on uh, eBay called love in the stone if you look up uh, Shiva Lingams on eBay her store will pop up That's all, folks. Bye.